The Kutus is Chedekhov Aleph, Mishpatim Gimel, this is page 138, second Sikha of the week, part of the project of the Kutus Sikhas. Okay, let's begin. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, you have Mishpatim Gimel, like we said, it's page 138. From Pasuk, Korah the same Parsha saying that we yich the Mesha is called Yibri Hashem. Towards the end of the Parsha, it says that Mesha wrote all the words of Hashem. Now, what does it mean that Mesha wrote all the words of Hashem? Shtot Sif Rashi, Yerti Verta, we yich the Mesha, is Mepharish, a Bereshish, Vad Manteira, the cause of Mitzvahs, Mitzvahs, Shinistav, Vumara. So Rashi quotes the words, for the, and he takes the words from the Pasuk of Yichtav Mesha, and he explains that Mesha wrote, what does he mean by Yichtav Mesha? That he wrote from Bereshis until Mantero. Mesha also wrote the mitzvahs commanded to the Jewish people in Mara. Which means that Mesha Bedo wrote, so far, he wrote from Bereshis until Mantero, and he wrote well, the mitzvahs that either were commanded in Mara. Okay. The Rebbe says, We said many times that Rashi's commentary aims to clarify the Sukkot of the Shemit. Okay. We said many times that Rashi's commentary aims to clarify simple pshat. That's what we have to understand. Was it the answer to the Sukkot of the Shemit? As Mesha had given all the Yanim in the Breshis of Adman Tera, Avapi was Rubam is besignin for Asipur, or not besignin for Divri Hashem. On Eir Mitzvah Shelestavu Ben Mara, when it had tell from them all, or the other that Divrei Hashem gets us that. The question is, how does Rashi know, or how can Rashi prove that Moshe wrote all the words of Hashem from Bereshis until Mantera, even though that most of the section that there is written, we know from Bereshis, it's like a story. It's not the words. It's not like you know halacha words of Hashem. Also, the Mesha transcribed the mitzvah commanded in Mara. Maybe when we say Mesha wrote, refers to part of the sections or other words of Hashem. How does Rashi know that fits from Bereshis to Mantera? And how does he know that it's Dafka and Mitzvah Shub and Mara? Not for Mary, but more so, the Pasuk that Shtay Be Yichta Mesha is called Ibri Hashem. The Pasuk says that Mesha wrote all the words of Hashem. The Zabal Hashem state in this is the same, uh, the same direct, uh, the same uh, usage is used in the earlier pasuk. Mesha came and told the nation all the words of Hashem. And over there, Rashi explains that the mitzvah to separate the mantera and to set boundaries. So now the question is, why does Rashi explain this Vayichta Mesha, Mesha were all the words of Hashem, this Pasuk differently than he did in the previous? In the previous Pasuk he said that it means Prisha and Bala. If you think it's all learned as Vibala, it means Prisha and Bala is given on Ein Molok Inyan al Sahanus Mantena. Even if you want to say that the mitzvah to separate and set boundaries was a one-time occurrence, so it doesn't make sense to say again that Vayichta Mesha is called Ivri, that he's talking about Agbola and Prisha, because that was a one-time thing. Is the fact that Mustabra has no if them, but it's if Vayichta Mesha. Was it was Mesha, but it's the you must give When you say that Mesha wrote, it's things that he wrote uh, has to do with later. Are there enough men Enough more accused the datas, something which which is something which is set the datas. Can mean the learning as the beifta meisha is kailo to zam mit mitzvah pishu rabbi bala. Eich the al di bunir was zan the kumin al tzacharot to mantera over eich the gea. Eish better with the bechayel end as beifta meisha is called the Hashem mit hatanayim. Why you mishamay tishmo because the shvatim is brisi. So the question is. You can still, even if you want to say 
that Moshe is writing things which are eternal, nevertheless, we could still uh, say that Moshe wrote encompasses the mitzvah of Hagabal and separation, and all the statements related by Hashem to the Jews as part of their preparation to Man Zedah, but also have relevance to the Jews in the future. As the Baha'i has said, Moshe wrote all the words of Hashem refers to the Tanayim given by Hashem, and if you will listen to my voice and safeguard my covenant, so the question is, number one, is how does Rashi know that it means from Bracious to Montana and Mara? And why Rashi beforehand says that the Yichid Mesh is referring to Hagabala is Prisha and Hagabala. So why is Rashi attaching it differently? And even if you want to say that's a one-time occurrence, but you can still say that Mesh wrote this and other things that have to do with um, things which are the datas. Rebbe says that to me, Baza is not Russia. Base. The matter is even more questionable. The Duma to Pidish Rashi can fit me in Michilta, or Rashi in the Shana from Michilta, but if it has a Pidish and Rashi is Dod the Lake Kaman. Michilta says something similar to Rashi, but Rashi deviates from the wording of Michilta. So, and what comes out of this Rashi's explanation corresponds to none of the opinions. And then it explains. The Michilta brings the right days, and Michilta recites three opinions. The first is Rabiasi Rabiasi Berabasi, Amen. Mitchilas Bereshes Vadkan. So Rabiasi Ben Obasi says from the beginning of Bereshes until here. Rabbi Amen, Mitzvahs Shenestavu Adam or Ishen, Mitzvahs Shenestavu Bnei Neef, Mitzvahs Shenestavu Bnei Mitzrayim, or Bemano Ushar Kol Amitzvahs Kol. Rabbi says it's the Mitzvahs. Commanded to Adam, the mitzvah is commanded to the Bnei Neaf, the mitzvah is commanded to the Jewish people in Mitzrayim, Mara, and all the other mitzvahs. And that's the second opinion. Bishmal Eimer, Bishmal says, Bishilas Ayin Mahu Eimer, Bishav Sa'aris, Shabbos Lashem, Sheshan, and Tizu Sadecha Begamer. Shmite Beyevis, Baruch is a clolis. He says that what's written at the beginning of the subject. The land shall rest a Shabbos year to Hashem. Six years you shall sow your field. That should be a, a Shabbos, it should be a, a Yevil, blessings and curses. Um, what does it say at the end? And then what's it written at the end? These are the statues, the ordinances, and the teachings. And so all these, the Jewish people declare, we take it upon ourselves. So those are the three opinions. What's written? Rabbi says from Bereshis to Parshas Neshpatim to where we're holding now. Rabbi says is the mitzvah that Adam, Deineach, and the Tzrayim, Mara, and all the other mitzvahs that are commanded. Bishmol says in the beginning he wrote the idea of the Shemitah. At the end he wrote Ela Achutam and Neshpatim Atiris and said we're going to receive it. Now Rashi is on the side of the Ereshitzvi Deis Tzam. Rashi, however, combines the first two opinions in the Mechilta. Even if you want to say that Rashi learns in Pshat and Mechilta as Rebbe is in the Shail of the Ersh Tadea, the Rebbe is not negating the first opinion, nor can Kun Mesa Zayn Efer. He's coming to end. So, so go to Mechilta, 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 also, he, he wrote the mitzvah that the Eden, that other Mauritian was commanded. Came and over Nitzagan as thus as their mocker from Pirish Asha. You can't say this is a source of Russia. On every Rachelidla, the mitzvah should stop with a mother with Ashes up, nor Alla Imrik and Mitzvahs. Oikti was an Ashu Bengnit, because then the day Rabbi brings all the mitzvahs, even ones that Rashi doesn't say. Nice to was that, in addition, says Michal Schwartz is Zagan. It's in general, it's difficult to say, as Pirish Rashi does, is Gnumen from other other Musa, the Iftim Mechilta. It's, it's problematic to say that it's founded, the foundation is on Mechilta. From the Mechilta's Mefarish, but it then passes with Yichta Meishin, and then passes with Yikach Sefer Bis, with Yikar Bazneam, or Zot Avalisha Manam Meichin Kerob Bazneam. Now, what does the Mechilta say? The Mechilta does not explain the Pasuk that Meishin wrote, rather, he explains the Pasuk, he took the book of the Bris and read it in the ears of the nations, and the Mechilta begins and says, from where? Mechilta says, 
He begins from where my went in their ears. What does that mean? This says, which means according to Michilto, we're not discussing Moshe's writing, what was transcribed in the book. Not even in them was Moshe had linked. That's what Moshe read from that damn sefer. Was they are so with me? The Michil is not speaking about how Moshe Ben wrote and the sefer, but it's what Moshe um, read to the Yidden was they are in their ears. Mele is their phone can die and if I hear Moshe, so you have no right to to the idea of writing Moshe wrote. And then as in their Ksiva. Because it could be Moshe wrote more what he read as an evidence from the nuanced words in the Mechilta. But from the Torah, we do not know from where. Now, the whole evening is written over. That ever says, and then he really is difficult to understand. At the end of the day, what evidence based on Pshat does Rashi see to say that Mesha wrote from Bereshis and Tilman Tera and the Mitzvah's command in Mara? Gil. Right there from Pasik, where you got saved for a brief for Yukra Bosnia on. Later in the Pasik, that he took the book. Of the covenant and read it in the ears of the nation. Rashi refers to read to Sefer Bris in Bereshis v'Ad Mantelo Mitzvus in the Stav of Memar. Rashi quotes the pasuk of Sefer Bris. And what does he say? From Bereshis until Mantelo, and the Mitzvus commanded in Mara. The time was Rashi Darv Dov B'Chal Zogin as Zogin a Pidush for Sefer Bris. This moment, what does Rashi have to say? Explain the words, the Book of Covenant. It's obvious. A free of red need them month as thus was measured at Gishtim is given the Sefer Abris. Because beforehand, it doesn't say anywhere that what Moshe wrote was the Sefer Abris. Rashi Abtaish and as Hainu Ach, Stiff Rashi is to tell us long. The Sefer Abris and, and the Sefer Tater, it's, it's the same thing. That from verse 2, we have to understand. So the Vos Rashi Dav Ida Chazin Do, Nale Pratim. So Shring is up by Yichtu Mesha. Now, if by Yichtu Mesha and Sefer Bris is the same thing, so therefore the question is, why does Rashi have to say again? I mean, Bresh is a man to him. This is Shiddha Stavim Mono. Why does it have to say the same thing? Nogadar, Nogadar, Zagan, as does is them Sefer Shakas of Mesha. He could have said, this is the book that Mesha Ben wrote. But the Russian had as Bam, so the Rash Bam says, Sefer Bris, the Sefer Bris, the Yichtu Mesha, the Rash Bam says clearly. The book of the covenant is regarding which it says the Mishra wrote. So the number says of the Ada Wolf of Yikenzog and as Rashi Darf Ares Rechen Bepratis. You can see that Rashi needs to like spell it out. Um, in Pasif states down, we can say for a breeze, we can browse the arm. Because in the Pasif, what does it say? It says that Mishra that he took the breeze and he read it. In the ears of the people. She dominated Vos's Vos on Vifal Mesha Hut. Isaiah Galaint doesn't say how much he, he, he read to them. We don't know how much they heard. It didn't begin. Rashi to listen, therefore Rashi says, as thus was Sarah Galaint is given, the British Fad Mantera, Mitzvah Shinstab and Mara. Therefore Rashi says that he also read for them from British to Mantera and the mitzvahs they recommended in Mara. It gans to see for a bridge, which means he read for them the entire Book of Covenant. Of Mekena Zenit Island. However, you cannot learn this way. Well, Alephizia will dash as if the Kedar Stellan, if the writer of Ikra Brosnia, or the Rosagan as the Ikra made in Mibracious. But Rashi should have quoted the word and read it in the ears of the nations. They should have commented on this that this refers to Veracious. However, Rashi shouts the Chabar if the Vert of a Sefer Abris, or Nachman, there's a feeling that the Mesa of the Namnes and Alham Shachat Kassel. If the Fon is Ruben, as there's a reason to a fire sign, Nit was a equal nerve, well, he'll say for Pusset, I need him Sefer Abris. So, it's much that Rashi aims to explain not what Mishra read, but rather the Psukim refers to when it says the Book of 
covenant. And now the question is, how do Krishna look to the verse has it? Rashi, Ibris, and Pish, and Pratis. And now the question is, why does Rashi repeat his early interpretation in detail? All right, we'll stop here. We'll continue tomorrow.